Hi learners, welcome to my channel Data Science University with MLU Prasad. The agenda for today's video is Project 2, Panda Sleet Code, Question Type Easy, Question Number 1142, User Activities for the Past 30 Days 2. The GitHub link for the solution is provided in the description below. You can join my Telegram and LinkedIn page committee for further updates and discussions. Scan here to join the communities. The links are also provided in the video description. Now, let's solve together the problem. Okay, they have given an activity table consisting of some user ID, session ID, activity date and activity type. Okay. Write a solution to find the average number of sessions per user for a period of 30 days ending some 2019-7-2027 inclusively rounded up to two decimals okay the sessions we want to count for users are those with at least one activity in that time period okay let me come here Now, they have said in a 30 day interval range between in a 30 day interval range between 2019-07-27 if you observe here 2019-July-27 Now, 30 day interval would be what? 2019-July 28 so they want only in this time period for example let us come here so this is falling in this time period this is falling in this time period this is following this is falling this is falling this is also following falling 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 but if you see this is less than this one so this is not following and this is for following this criteria okay so now what they're saying is out of the dates which are following they want to know what is the session usage number of unique sessions by unique users okay let us come here how many sessions are there you can see 1, 4, 2, and 5. Okay, you can see that unique user unique sessions are 1, 4, 2, and 5. Similarly, how many unique users are there? 1, 2, 3. So, so the total number of unique sessions in this period is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 and the number of unique user IDs in this time period is 1, 2, 3 which is 4 by 3 4 by 3 is 1.33 which is the desired output so what should be our step 1 our step 1 should be filtering the activity date for this period Okay. after that step 2 is counting this unique session IDs step 3 is counting this unique user id and step 4 would be dividing the both the things okay let us code it down mm, okay let's say df is equal to activity table where activity table activity date is greater than or equal to 2019 
less than 11 27 okay so we have finally filtered for the time period okay now i want the numerator what is the numerator it is df session id dot n unique dot n unique okay let us see how many unique things are there okay we want as a data frame plus, so we can't see it okay let's me do it let me take the denominator denominator is equal to df dot user id unique and the ratio is ratio equal to num by denominator now they want to return a data frame so qd dot data frame data equal to what is the column name the column name they want to return is average session per user okay, which is this one and the value which they want to return is ratio now let me run it okay it should be num divided by okay let us see okay we need to round it off so let me keep ratio sorry round comma 2 now let me run it okay our uh, our code has been successfully submit accepted let me check for all the test cases by submitting okay there is an issue imagine the number of unique users even if it is some uh, empty kind of table or something for example if you filter for this table you can see all the data in this are falling outside so there is no users there are empty rows if you filter so for empty rows then number of unique users will be zero so anything divided by zero is a division error so we need to check this case what is that if denominator equal to zero we should not take this ratio because num by zero will be causing the issue so let me keep a condition if then equal to equal to zero let me call the final ratio as zero okay if not else let me call the thing so if it is not denominated zero apply this formula if it is denominated zero directly call it as ratio now it will work that's it our code output has successfully passed all the test cases and we have solved the problem if you want the code solution for this it will be available in this github repository and the link will be provided in the description below you can follow along with this questions one by one for further practice and if you're further interested in learning data science analytics machine learning nlp computer vision and generative ai stuff please fill in the google form below my team will be reaching out to you soon and if you're preparing for data science interviews please check out this playlist it will be greatly helping you soon and for further questions or doubts regarding the problem which you have solved please use the hashtag ask in the comment section i'll clear all your doubts which you are being facing okay until then keep learning guys